How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be me ranking the first four MSPs for uh, this preseason event. So I'm not really considering the headliner cards and prototype cards because to me those cards are, you know, it's something different and you can't make those cards all the time. You can only make whatever current ones out. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if not already. Let's hop into the video right now. We're starting off with number four, and that's Ryan O'Reilly. So I might surprise actually some people here, but honestly, Ryan O'Reilly compared to the other cards to me does not hit the same. I feel like he's 6'1", 207, so he's got pretty good size. I mean, all these cards are excellent. I'm not gonna tell you that Ryan O'Reilly is a trash card or anything like that. He's obviously still very good. I mean, all these cards are, they almost have all 99 stats. Uh, but at 6'1", 207, left-handed centerman, he's got sniper forward, playmaking forward, two-way forward, along with defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and then he's got speed boost and agile dangler boost. So that gives him 98 speed right there with uh, with speed boost here. And honestly, I really do like Ryan O'Reilly. I, I think he's a great card here, but for, for me, it has to be number four, unfortunately. Um, his abilities he's got are unstoppable force, puck on a string, tape to tape, elite edges, and gold close quarters. So, I mean, the abilities are in a good spot. They really are. I mean, you can't complain about that. But overall, guys, I mean, it's it's still a fine card. Uh, I mean, the abilities are good. 98 speed is obviously very good as well. Um, it's just for me, when I'm looking at the other cards, to me at this point in the year, guys, you can say what you want. The height and the weight, it, it kind of does matter. It does. I mean, because so many cards that are out right now are like 6, 6, 99 speed, and you're just going to get lightly tapped. And that, inch, that extra inch or two could really make a huge difference. So for me, I really believe Ryan O'Reilly has to be number four. Um... But like I said, I mean, this card could definitely be still very useful and, and good to you. So I'm not going to make it seem like this card is absolutely trash. If you want to make it, if you're a Predators fan, you know, Sabres fan, you know, for all-time Sabres, Blues fan, of course. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's certainly a, a usable card. I'm not trying to say it's not. But I never really use Ryan O'Reilly's puck cards in HUD anyway. I feel like it doesn't really play that well, O'Reilly, for some reason. Uh, like, I don't know. He is fine. He's fine. But I know I'm kind of babbling right now, but Ryan O'Reilly for me comes in at number four. Let's move on to number three. One of the more shocking times where I don't put a goalie at last on a ranking list. But the reason why I'm not putting him last is because he's got great size for a goaltender. And again, I really thought that Vassy was like 6'2 in Hutter, even maybe 6'3 at tallest. I'm pretty sure he was, at least in the last few years of Hut. I feel like they changed the height on a lot of players to maybe more you know, actually accurately reflect what they are in real life. Because I know Hedman was 6'7 this year, and he was never 6'7 before. I thought it was like a glitch or something, but I guess not. But Vasilevsky at 6'4", 220. He's got the left-handed catching glove. Um, he's only 29. Well, I thought he was at least 30, but I guess not. Now he probably is. But sniper forward, grinding forward, and forcer forward. Some interesting synergies. You really don't see those too often, especially grinding forward and forcer forward. But again, for a goal, it does not matter. He's got defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and then speed boost and agile dangler boost. I'm only just saying it just so obviously if you guys are trying to activate certain synergies still, which I'm sure most of you guys, have, if you've been playing all year, you're not trying to activate synergies anymore because of your team of the season, team of the year cards, team builder cards. I mean, it's very easy to activate synergies right now, uh, but he's got silver contortionist, silver post to post, silver light work, silver no timer, and gold showstopper here so honestly i mean i like i like those abilities i do i really do especially um light work and gold showstopper i think those are definitely ones you want to activate um i find light work to be probably the most consistent one when it comes to goalies in nhl 24 um for sure it's not gonna you know always save you it's just not realistic goalies are for the most part very random and that's a thing like it's a 98 overall goal, so you're probably right away saying, oh, 98 overall, this card's got to be broken, right? But honestly, guys, one for a 99 hut, goalies really just are so random. Like, this goalie, Vasilevsky, could absolutely stand on his head, you know, for 10 games straight for you, and then the next five, you have seven goals every game, right? Like, it's just, the thing about goaltending, too, is, guys, I know a lot of people, don't, you know, don't like to hear it, but defense is a big factor. I mean, if you guys are letting up, you know, one-timer back to back to back, I mean, you're going to get scored on and you deserve to get scored on respectfully because if you're letting up wide open shots, great looks, time in, time out, I mean, for the most part, your goalie does not really deserve to bail you. I and mean, that's like real life. I mean, the goalie can only do so much for you. You're giving up prime opportunities over and over again, especially at this point in the year 
moving it up to 99 overall hot cards with 99 shot. They're going to score. They just are. But if, if you're going to make this Vasilevsky card, I definitely would activate Gold Showstopper, certainly Lightwork, and honestly, maybe Post to Post as well. Give that a try. I haven't used Post to Post actually in quite some time here, so maybe I will go ahead and even try that out and see how that works for him. But um, honestly, I haven't used a new goalie in a long time, so maybe Vasilevsky might have to be the guy for me. I mean, it's, it's, like I said, it's been a, been a while here for sure. Um, but... I mean, all the stats where you want to be pretty much 99 across the board, except for his poke check there is only 95, passing is 90, but passing is whatever, not a big deal. 99 for speed and vision, endurance, 93, agility, 99. The position is great, 99 across the board, except for shot recovery, which, you know, okay. Uh, rebounds, rebound control is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty great card in terms of just stats and abilities alone, no doubt about it. If you need a goaltender, Vasilevsky could be a great option for you guys. Let's move on to number two now. Adrian Kempe is very good. And honestly, I didn't know he was listed as a center, actually. Interesting. See, I thought he was just a winger in real life, straight up. Didn't realize that. So here's the thing. He's an inch taller than O'Reilly, eight pounds, you know, lighter than O'Reilly, right? So you can say, all right, well, technically O'Reilly, you know, he's bigger, right? He's got more weight. But I think that extra inch makes a difference. And honestly, Kempe is a sick player in game as well. Again, these left-handed centermen, 200 pounds. He's got playmaking forward, two-way forward, sniper forward. So you can quickly activate that two-way forward. Take it up with the 99 face-off as well. So don't worry about that. Don't, people might be saying, well, Henrique, he's only got 96 face-offs. Right? He's got 99. Well, you can definitely activate that pretty easily with synergies. And if you can't activate it with that, you can activate it with defensive boost and get it up to 99 like that. And actually, you probably should activate defensive boost as well because it'll give his endurance up to 99 agility as well. But he's got checking boost, agile dangler boost, shooting boost, and defensive boost there. Uh, obviously, though, if you do want to go with two-way forward, you could activate maybe checking boost instead of him up to 92 endurance. That could be pretty useful. Uh, he's got speed boost and playmaking boost. So that speed boost gets him up to 99 speed as well, guys. So 99 speed is uh, is fantastic on him as well. Um, and like I said, he's got the 99 face-offs with synergies as well. Um, that's just tremendous for me. So I, I really think... Um, that's, that's amazing, this card. I, I really do. I mean, his abilities, you know, a little bit questionable, some of them. I mean, Yoink, to me, is not not an amazing one. I mean, it's one ability point, so it's not really going to affect you too much. Um, I mean, the AP limit's like 140. I mean, I guess you might as well just try to activate as many as you possibly can. Ankle Breaker, you know, that's an L ability, unfortunately. You don't activate Ankle Breaker unless you're someone that's, like, just trying to make deeks and mess around the whole game, which, fair enough, at this point in the year, I can respect it. But uh, Tape the Tape, again, not a good ability for me. Uh, I just find it to not be very, you know, very impactful. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's like an auto saw sometimes. Like, that's pretty decent, but I'm not like, you know, jumping up and down over it. Elite Edge is not a phenomenal ability. I don't care. 99 speed, 99 excel. It still, to me, makes a difference and it does matter. So I definitely would activate Silver Elite Edges on him. And then you got Gold Make It Snap, which I would also activate on him. I, I like Make It Snappy a lot. I mean, why not have a shooting ability? I feel like you might as well. Um, and you might as well activate the gold abilities on a card that, I mean, 98 overall, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be putting them in your top six if you're actually making him, unless you're just trying to, you know, trying to, you know, really get that bottom six solidified. But Adrian Kempe for me comes in at number two. He's an amazing, amazing card. Definitely would activate, make it snappy and elite edges would probably be the only abilities. Um, but yeah, definitely get his face off at 99. That's quite important as well. Number one is Joel Erickson Eck. He's 6'3", 207 pounds. So, uh, he's got the same height. Uh, same, sorry, same weight basically as O'Reilly, bigger than Kempe, and he is taller than both of them. So 6'3", 207, got the 99 face-offs already. Uh, the shot is not quite maxed out, but obviously you could easily activate that with shooting boost, uh, or sniper forward, whatever you want to activate. But he's got sniper forward, power forward, two-way forward, low defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and then he's got accelerator boost and agile dangler boost. So really, really nice synergies here as well um definitely want to get him to 98 speed or 98 acceleration though i would say as well so you know that that would be really nice close quarters he's got you know it's okay i mean i'm not a huge fan of close quarters it's not as good as it used to be i feel like it doesn't like always really make a difference like it used to in probably nhl 22 really tape of tape as i mentioned not a fan beauty backhand for one ability point always activate that i mean for one ability point you'd be foolish not to activate it for at least for my money um truculence you know for a forward it's pretty funny and why not go for it and then goal unsolvable force, you definitely got to activate goal unsolvable force. I mean, that is 100% a must, and it really does make a difference to me at least. Um, but yeah, Joe Erickson Eck for me is number one by far. Uh, you get the 90 acceleration, maxed out shot with shooting boost or, or sniper forward, whatever you want. 99 face-offs, all the stats are 99 where you want to really be. 
to me, Eric Sinek checks off all boxes you like to have on a center. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live every single day. I'll see you guys in the next video.